Good morning. This is Thursday, November 12th, and I'd like to begin by wishing Vanessa Parlin. She turns 12 today, so I'd like to wish her a happy birthday, Vanessa. Vanessa and I have a lot in common in regards to bugs and snakes and birds and animals and nature. She's a real nature girl, so happy birthday, Vanessa. I hope you have a good day. Today's uh, devotion is entitled, The Changed Life. This is 2 Corinthians 5.17. If anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. Old things have passed away, and behold, all things have become new. What understanding do you have of the salvation of your soul? In other words, what do you think of when you think of you being saved? <clears throat> the work of salvation means that in your real life, things are dramatically changed. You no longer look at things the same way. Your desires are new and the old things have lost their power to attract you. One of the tests for determining if the work of salvation in your life is genuine is, has God changed the things that really matter to you? If you still yearn for the old things, then it's silly to talk about being born from above or born again because we can be deceiving ourselves. If you are born again, the Spirit of God makes the change very evident in your real life and in your real thinking. And when a crisis comes, you are the most amazed person on earth at the wonderful difference that there is in you. And what he means by that is in when a crisis arises, we don't react out of self like we used to. We just roll with it and trust God. There is no possibility of imagining that you did it. It is this complete an amazing change that is very evident that you are saved. What difference has my salvation and sanctification made in my life? For instance, can I stand in the light of 1 Corinthians 13, or do I squirm and evade the issue? True salvation, worked out in me by the Holy Spirit, frees me completely. That's John chapter 8, when Jesus said that if you believe in my words, you shall be free, and he who the Son sets free is free indeed, or free completely. And as long as I walk in the light as he is in the light, 1 John 1, 7, God sees nothing to rebuke because his life is working itself into every detail of my being, not on a conscious level, but even deeper than my consciousness. So what he's asking us is, uh, do we respond to things in the old way, or do we respond to them as a child of God? Do we react as a child of God? And here's the challenge today. Are we, are we this free from the things of self? Primarily, have we stopped trying to fix things ourselves? Do we constantly walk around trying to remedy our mistakes within our own power? Or do we trust God to walk us through them? And, and, and we're so free in the walking through that when we get out on the other side of it, we're just amazed that God is that good. So that's the challenge today. Ask yourself, are we still trying to fix things in our own strength? Let's pray. Father, I thank you for uh, giving us that moment in which we can be that free. And Lord, that's my prayer today, that we would believe the words of Jesus Christ and walk in the light as he is in the light. And Lord, Lord that we would find John 8 again. He who the sun sets free is free indeed. And walk that free today. And Lord, as we walk that free, may somebody else see that and ask us about it, and we get to share the gospel. We pray these things in Christ's name. Amen. God bless, and I'll see you tomorrow.